What's going on guys? First off, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, I'm wearing a Cool as Ice shirt. This review is not Cool as Ice starring Vanilla Ice, but this is an amazing shirt, in my opinion. But this video is about The Witches of Eastwick. Right here stars Susan Sarandon, Cher, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Jack Nicholson. It's a dark comedy um, from Warner Brothers Pictures. It was one of the top 10 box office movies of 1987. Uh, this movie is kind of weird, okay? It does have the comedy aspect, but spoiler at the end, it gets really cheesy really quickly. So basically you have these three friends, Susan Sarandon's character, who is sort of like that nerdy kind of girl who wears the glasses, Michelle Pfeiffer's character that is like a family mother sort of character. She has um, six children. And Cher's character is the outgoing, don't give a shit attitude character that kind of mixes well with the two. They always have these wine dates on Thursday where they talk about their life and where it's going and stuff like that. They also are three witches in their own sort of way. So what happens is, like I said, they're friends and they live in this town called Eastwick. So they can think stuff and do stuff and certain stuff will happen. Like at the beginning, you have a storm starting and it's because they're all thinking of it. And they don't necessarily go out and address the fact that they're witches, but they do have those qualities of witchcraft happening in um, their presence when they're around. Then in comes Jack Nicholson's character. It's announced that a new guy has bought one of the properties in Eastwick um, that's sort of been abandoned for a while. I believe there was murders that took place there. Jack Nicholson's character walks into the picture. Jack Nicholson's character uh, basically enters the, the picture at a, at a um, I believe it was a funeral. Uh, he is shown as like a drunk buffoon sort of. So your first take on him is like he's kind of crazy. Like he's um, snoring and he sounds like the devil and stuff like that. So you don't necessarily know how his character is going to be. But then as the film slowly progresses, you find out that he starts pursuing these three different uh, women. Uh, Susan Sarandon's character, Cher's character, and Michelle Pfeiffer's character. Uh, first off, he goes after Cher's character. And um, Cher ends up at his house. And he convinces her to have sex with him. And basically... She believes that she's falling in love with him and all this stuff like that. Then, not even a couple of days later, um, Susan Sarandon's character is falls in love with Jackson Nicholson and ends up changing her whole personality, basically. She becomes this character that doesn't give a shit anymore and is dressing a lot different than the character she originally was in the picture. And then you enter Michelle Pfeiffer's character, who's like, okay, like... And Jack Nicholson isn't doing this just behind their backs. He's flat out hitting on these different girls right in front of them. And Michelle Pfeiffer being the last one was hit on right in front of Susan Sarandon's character and Cher's character. And at that point they're just like, what's going on? Like, who is this guy and what powers does he have? So Michelle Pfeiffer's character ends up sleeping with uh, Jack Nicholson as well. So they've all three fallen in love or under this this sort of spell of Jack Nicholson's character. And the weird thing about his character, it, it's, I do realize, realize that this movie came out in 1987 and Batman came out in 89, but I think a lot of the characteristics of his um, Jack character in Batman actually came from this character in this movie here because uh, a lot of the traits and personality wise are very much the same. Um, so, but like he, He's over the top, his house is over the top, the way that he does stuff is very over the top, and the, the girls start to realize that there's something wrong with this dude and we have to get rid of him because he's causing problems throughout their, through their relationship of the three um, ladies in this movie. So basically, they all end up at his house and um, he doesn't know they're all there. He knows that individually they're going to show up. But they all end up doing this sort of like voodoo stuff where they um, share a head early on in the movie. You see her working on clay little figures and she ends up making a clay figure um, that's supposed to be 
it's sort of like a voodoo figure that's created in resemblance of Jack Nicholson's character and they end up breaking it and end up um, putting pins in it and all sorts of stuff like that and he slowly but surely starts realizing what's going on and this is when the movie starts getting really cheesy is when he comes back and then um, they're all in his house and they're trying to stop him from coming in he ends up coming in as this like huge monster guy but it kind of looks like um Gollum from Lord of the Rings like a, a larger version of him and he's trying to like tear down the house and they find a way to fight him off and go about their life and have it back to sort of normality overall a great great picture definitely worth checking out I love the cover work with uh, Jack Nicholson and the lightning bolts here with the the other girls in the or the girls in the clouds up here. In the back you have all three of them among, among uh, balloons there. Uh, you do have the same picture on the side panel as well. I'll show you guys the actual VHS if I can get it out. It's one of those ones that are stuck. One second. Just when I want to take it out, it doesn't want to come out. Okay, let's see if I can go about getting it out this way. Never had this problem. There we go. There we go, which is a piece of wick. Sorry if you guys can't see it. That's a little bit better there. And I believe this was a rental because it does have a number there as well. It doesn't have the, it on the actual cover here. Um, but it says it has the warning there as well, so it's most likely a rental. Uh, it was rated R to, to all of the the sexual content in this movie but a, an excellent movie um, nonetheless and I want to get your guys take what do you guys think about which is up Eastwick what do you guys think about all of the, the amazing cast of characters in this movie all the stars that are in this movie just leave a comment below let me know what you guys think about this uh, what you think overall about the movie and uh, like what I mentioned earlier do you guys think that Jack Nicholson's character in this movie is or resembles similar traits to his Jack character in Batman. Just leave a comment below if you want to hit me up on Twitter. It's at just Raymer. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, if you could just hit the subscription button below. That would be amazing as well. It would mean the world to me. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.